Welcome to the video series on research methods and analysis by data and research. In this video, we will see how we can develop a research objective and hypothesis from a research problem. Also, we will discuss how can we choose a statistical analysis after developing the hypothesis. Imagine that I have a problem to solve. I would like to know whether the traffic sense of the young adults has influence of cultural, demographic and psychological factors. I titled my research problem as the influence of cultural, demographic and psychological factors on the traffic sense of young adults. Here, the independent variables are cultural factors, demographic factors, and psychological factors. Dependent variable is traffic sense, and my sample is young adults. I did a survey of literature. Finally, I identified that the place where the individual born and brought up is one major cultural factor that can have an influence on traffic sense. I considered region as a variable that may help me to understand the cultural influence. Also I understood sex as an important demographic factor that could influence the traffic sense. The psychological factors that I considered are solution focused thinking, thrill seeking behavior and positive affect. Among these, solution focused thinking is a cognitive factor. Thrill-seeking behavior is a cognitive factor and positive affect is an affective factor. Next, I just noted what I have to find in my study. I have to find the influence of region on traffic sense, the influence of sex on traffic sense and influence of solution-focused thinking, thrill-seeking behavior and positive effect on traffic sense. Among these, region is a variable in nominal level of measurement. Traffic sense is in the interval level or ratio level of measurement. In other words, region is a categorical variable and traffic sense is a continuous variable. So to study the influence of region on traffic sense, I need only find out if urban, semi-urban and rural young adults differ in their traffic sense. Likewise, sex is a categorical variable. So to study the influence of sex on traffic sense, I'll find if females and males differ in traffic sense. Now, on solution-focused thinking, thrill-seeking behavior and positive effect are variables in interval or ratio level of measurement. This means, as traffic sense, these three are continuous variables. So, to study the influence, I can check if traffic sense has a relationship with solution focused thinking, thrill seeking behavior and positive effect. Based on my understanding, I developed my research questions and these are my research questions. Is there a significant difference in traffic sense among urban, semi-urban and rural young adults? Is there a difference in traffic sense among male and female young adults? Does traffic sense have a relationship with solution focused thinking, thrill seeking behavior and positive effect among young adults? Based on questions, I set my objectives and hypothesis. And these are my objectives. To study the difference in traffic sense among urban, semi-urban and rural young adults, to study the difference in traffic sense among male and female young adults, 
to study the relationship of traffic sense with solution focused thinking thrill seeking behavior and positive effect among young adults and here are my hypotheses i thought i will go with null hypothesis so null hypothesis one there is no significant difference in traffic sense among urban semi urban and rural young adults there is no significant difference in traffic sense among male and female young adults traffic sense does not have a significant relationship with solution focused thinking thrill seeking behavior and positive effect among young adults then i went for data collection after collecting the data i fed it in an excel sheet then sorted it and coded wherever is necessary female and male are coded as 1 and 2 respectively urban semi urban and rural were coded as 1 2 and 3 respectively then i thought i will check if there is an association between the categorical variables region and sex for that i did a chi square test of independence then i planned my hypothesis testing procedures first i shall test if there is a significant difference in traffic sense among urban semi urban and rural young adults here there are three independent samples urban semi urban and rural if the scores of traffic sense are normally distributed i shall go for one way anova otherwise i shall use kruskal valis h test then i shall check there is a difference between females and males in traffic sense here there are two independent samples females and males if the scores of traffic sense are normally distributed i shall go for independent sample t test otherwise i shall use man whitney u test next i will check if traffic sense have a significant relationship with solution focused thinking thrill seeking behavior and positive effect among young adults as all are continuous variables i will use correlation if the scores of all the variables are normally distributed i will use pearson's correlation otherwise i can use spearman's correlation if there is a relationship i may search if there are any predictors among the independent variables to do this i may use regression i may check if region and sex interact in the difference of traffic sense of young adults for that i may use two way anova or i may check if solution focused thinking acts as a covariate of traffic sense in the difference of urban semi urban and rural young adults for this i may use ancoa if i had more independent variable i would have assessed the interaction between region and sex in all of them using a manova but my research does not have scope for that now imagine that the finding of my study is like solution focused thinking is a significant predictor of traffic sense in another study i took a pre test of traffic sense and gave solution focused intervention and did a post test i can find out the effect of intervention by comparing the pre test scores and post test scores i will do paired sample t test if the scores are normally distributed otherwise i may go for wilcoxon w after the post test if i have a follow up test what will i do i will go for repeated measures anova if scores are normally distributed otherwise i will use friedman's anova this is just a brief story those who are interested more can read more if you have any suggestions questions and recommendations please write to d and r 365 at gmail.com